How's it going YouTube? And welcome back agents. Today's simulation is a game of deathmatch on New York Brewery. We're playing as the Independent in her sexy black Wolfpack costume. Almost forgot what that was then. Um, I recorded this early on uh, in my AC3 multiplayer lifetime. Um, I'm not sure what level we're up to at the moment. Um, but I chose to uh, pick this gameplay to talk over today because there are a couple of things of interest that do happen. Uh, first of all I'm going to get a hidden incog focus poison. Well no I didn't pick up the focus sorry. On that guy but the disguise glitch is back. You can see I spawned in as the independent and as I chill here in this blend group leaning up against the walls surveying the area taking a quick swig of my pint we can see that we are now dressed as the what's his name the night stalker that's right and it looks like we're off to the blue oyster bar <laughs> but um yeah, it just so happens to be a, another player in this lobby uh, who's using the Night Stalker and we do see each other in a minute um, I don't know how far into the gameplay it is but I thought, it, there it is, look he's after me but yet yeah, I look exactly the same fuck off <laughs> oh, I thought this was brilliant this game the, the glitch doesn't go away until I die so we're getting a bit of lag here and there. So that guy was like hovering halfway um, in the air above the the walkway there. And he does me a favour and kills the bar wench. I actually, like Rainy's um, nickname for the um, the lady maverick, the bar wench. Yeah, that's, that's I like that. So yeah, the um, disguise glitch wears off now, so we're going to go back to using the independent. Here we go, we go with a sexy swagger. That one's for you, Wisdom. And yeah, we're going to continue to search for the bar wench. The bar wench, here she is. So we're going to get a silent poison. And we're going to just chill out in this blend group. Now, another funny thing happens here is watch the... NPC next to me, she's her arms flickering. She's like, "Shall I take a drink or shall I not? Shall I have?" <laughs> and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" And my character is just like, "Whoa, whatever." Now, one thing about this map that I don't like is, um, and by the way, that pioneer was after uh, my pursuer there. I just didn't realise at the time. This map's like Castel Gandolfo a hell of a lot, as I managed to pick up a hidden acrobatic. <laughs> on the Justin Bieber oops I totally lost uh, sight of where this guy was I did think I think I locked him I'm not sure I can't remember now but yeah this map's a hell of a lot like Castel Gandolfo because on that map in Revelations it was nothing but whispers 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 and as, as much as I like the chocolate bar whisper I don't really like whispers in this game because they're far too loud in my opinion um, I don't know what it is about game developers these days but they seem to want to tend to make their games easier for new players to uh, compete with the good players instead of having the new players learn how to compete with the good players so we're on a merry way looking for the bar wench um, she's just around this corner so yes like everyone seems to congregate on this first floor level uh, just walking around in a huge circle so I like to use the blend group that I've just walked past because the, the one on the opposite side has got a wall you can climb up so an experienced player would notice you in the blend group and possibly use it to get um, a grab kill because here look you can see there's an archway which would make it extremely difficult to have be grabbed killed I know you could climb up the side where we've just passed but 
you would probably get a uh, high profile prompt and get a lock as well because they would if you're get corner stunned bitch if you're um if you've got your wits about you you'd be on to high profile prompts like uh, flies on steak you know but um yes yeah, so I'm not a big fan of this map for deathmatch I'm not a big fan of it for wanted I'm not a big fan of it in general to be honest um so stand here oh the pioneer got me we should get incog yeah she could have got hidden because I had no idea she was there I'd, I think I'm not I can't remember what um, level I am um, but I'm gonna get some revenge on her right now because of the old high profile actions stun is obviously a high profile action which to be honest didn't make any sense to me in revelations because uh, stun was available without having to have pressed the high profile button <coughs> And why she used her knives on me, I've got no idea. If she knew which one I was, she could have told me and got a focus out of it. What she get variety in normal discreet, so uh, I, I can't remember what I was saying now. So we're gonna poach this guy. You're gonna run around like an idiot. Making yourself obvious, you're gonna get picked off straight away, so that's right. Um yeah. With with all, all the ga uh, single player games up to thus far, like if you wanted to sprint, you had to press the high profile button, which was right trigger in my case, um, <coughs> and A to sprint. So, uh, stun in multiplayer, all you had to do was press B. You didn't have to press high profile, so why they deemed it a high pro profile action, I've got no idea. I mean, if your pursuer is. Um, well, if you're in their line of sight and they see you stun someone, they're g it's going to be obvious that you're the human player. Um, so we just streaked, and we're going to pick up an incognito focus. We go chill back in our blend group and watch this guy die as he kills JB. So all in all, I'm actually really enjoying uh, Assassin's Creed Three. I know a couple of things have been tricky to get used to, for example the lock, but once you get over that initial uh, change from it being insta-lock, yes, you know I'm talking about you, um, then it's relatively easy. I mean, it's not much effort for me to lock onto these players. It's, it's one thing I think people are bother ba bothered about is that you can't hang your crosshair over the persona that you want to lock and then half press the button which to be honest was too easy anyway in my opinion so but yeah we're after um, Scorpion Zim I think that's his name he's the one dressed as the uh, Night Stalker that's going to the Blue, blue Oyster Bar so there he is in the blend group up there on uh, he's just walking over the walkway now. Um what else to talk about? It's absolutely freezing cold over here in the England land as I get stunned by this guy's bodyguard, so that was actually the first time I've uh, dealt with bodyguard. And is it me or is bodyguard OP as fuck now because you can't stun it? Because if you stun it it's like killing civilians, so you kind of uh, lose your contract for 8 seconds, or you're unable to interact with your contract or pursuers for 8 seconds, so that doesn't really make much sense, because on one of the loading screens it says you can stun a bodyguard or a decoy without losing your contract, well, that doesn't make sense because we all know we don't lose our contract anymore when we kill civilians, it's one of the changes that they shouldn't have made. If you kill a civilian, you should, or if you kill a lookalike of the uh, person that you're after, it should be deemed as a lure and that um, 
you lose your contract because I don't think it's fair that you can do that or some if somebody is after you and they kill your blender copy or your decoy or something like that you can get free stun out of it and that's really not fair because you might have lured them into killing your decoy or something like that so it's not fair that you are then able to get a free stun out of it so I mean there are a lot of good things that they've changed about this and there are a lot of things that they changed which they shouldn't have done but let's hope that the post patch support is as good as they say it's going to be I mean we've had one patch uh, just recently um, and I do hope that there are many more so we've come to the end of the game uh, we got 7,000 does that say 700? I'm not sure 8 kills for 6 I is the Slayer and what else am I? The Unstoppable the Slayer ah so yeah let's look at the scores scores on the doors did we get extreme variety? no we didn't well thanks for watching this guys and I'll catch you later YouTube